In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five business target steps in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here a target uh, board comes here or the target uh, design I've added here. And when I click, it will show you one curve shape with the icon. Then with the different color, you show the different option, the third option, fourth option and the fifth option. And you can see here I've added one green arrow here, which is going above the target. And you can add some title and detailed text to it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you know you can see here the bottom this much width i need and you can see here the small orange point just drag this inside all right and maybe i'll give reduce a little bit and then i'll drag this inside further so it looks like a shape of a pyramid shape outline make it no outline and make sure to align center right now i'm going to edit this by right mouse click edit point and from the right i'm going to make it a curve shape so select this one drag this inside okay and this also select this and drag this inside so we end up getting a shape something like this you can see i have to make it more yeah so now I can do that one here also but uh, sometimes if you don't do it correctly the shape will look somewhat awkward then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one and then paste this one here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle cover the left part only you can see here then select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract now press ctrl D to duplicate rotate make it flip horizontal and put it here so we end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to select both the shapes merge shape and make it union so you can see here i got a design something like this so the next step is to cut this into uh, five parts uh, so now uh, just to make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong for the safer side i'm just going to duplicate this slide okay if something goes wrong we have a copy all right now let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a right triangle draw the right triangle something like this so now I'm going to make it more transparent so that you can see what is uh, behind there. So right, let me just right mouse click, go to format shape, under fill, make it somewhat transparent, give some different color. And here also I would like to give some different color combination. Okay, so that it's clearly visible. So now what I'm going to do is you can see here, I have just put, if you're not able to see clearly, let me just give some other color yeah so this area only i'm going to cover all right let me just make it more uh, transparent you can see it now all right now now again what i'm going to do is again i'm going to edit this shape click on the edit points drag this point somewhere here okay and then just put like this okay a curve shape okay you can see here I got I'm going to cut this one like this now I'm going to take this one press ctrl D to duplicate move this aside rotate I'm going to make it a flip horizontal and I'm going to put it here for the left side all right now I'm going to add one more rectangle go to again the triangle shapes select the again the right triangle give a little give it gap all right again make it somewhat transparent all right and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to again edit point for this and again move a little bit here and again curve it okay you can see here it should look something like this yeah so now again i'm going to select this one press ctrl d uh, go to the shape format rotate flip horizontal and I'm going to put it here for this is for the second option you can see here and then one two three four five options again 
I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. If something goes wrong, I have a backup slide. Now I'm going to select all these shapes. All right. Go to the shape format, merge shape, and say fragment. And just you can see here all this got. I don't want this one. I just need to delete this part. You can see here. I'm just deleting the unwanted shapes. All right, and then if something bottom also i just like to delete that any unwanted shapes and then i'm going to select all these shapes shape outline make it no outline remove the transparency and then choose any color of your choice so i'm just start let me just start putting one one color here you can see here i'm just trying to put and this and this also it got separated you can see here for this you can make it a union also here all right now for this one i'm going to make it or uh, maybe uh, orange and here i'm going to make it a kind of purple and maybe this one i'll use as a green so you can see here i've got a shape something like this now I'm going to add the target board for that I'm going to add a new slide delete this placeholder columns and this one we don't need I can simply delete this one because it's it has come perfectly all right if there's any problem we have to go back but anyway now let me just go here go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key all right and you can make it more bigger size and make it more hollow also in the center and make sure to align center align middle and make it somewhat transparent now duplicate this by pressing ctrl d all right if you want you can give some different color later on we'll change the color not a problem again align center align middle now hold the ctrl shift key together increase the size all right so this is my second control d again align center align middle again hold the control shift key this is my third okay again if you want to reduce the size you can reduce it also again hold the control shift key and then make this one okay uh, make less uh, this one uh, size and then again press control d to duplicate again make sure to align center align middle hold the control shift key increase the size and then reduce this one the width all right so i have got one two three four i can add one more press control d again align center align middle again increase the size and reduce its width all right now i'm going to select all these shapes control a I can remove the transparency here all right and then i'm going to give this as a maybe a red color each alternate i'm going to give it as a red color you can see here and the others i'm going to give this as white all right so now let me just select all the shapes Control a make sure that no outline is there Control g to group it okay bring it here control v sorry let me just again copy control c bring it here control v and then go to the effects 3d rotation presets i'm going to choose this one which is the perspective relax moderately and you can see here the y rotation just reduce it like this and go to the 3d format and start giving the depth how much depth you need here all right and then just place it something like this and if you want you can just send this to back it should be actually front only all right and make it more rotation here so it looks something like this and now send this to back so that it's clearly visible all right so it looks something like this again if you want to reduce the size of this one you can select this one press ctrl g to group it reduce the size you can see here 
put it like this and bring this down okay and then i'm going to add one more shape which is the arrow shape the top arrow draw the top top arrow okay and give any color of your choice let me just give green and send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here and make sure to ungroup this one because this will help us to do the animation better so our basic design is ready now it's time to add some icons and some text so go to insert icons you can just choose any icons of the choice so let me just uh, randomly choose uh, some five icons click insert and i'm going to reduce the size to maybe 0.6 and I'm going to put the icons one by one onto these options. Okay. And then you can just add some title and detail text. Title, you can just say 01. Title, make it bold. Increase the size. Insert text box. You can add detail text here reduce the size write a line and put it here this also i'm going to make it write a line and press ctrl g to group it just put the number of titles you want one by one like this all right press ctrl d now you can add this one here make it the left align and here also you can make it a left align okay so this is the text so let it be press ctrl d and that's it you can just change the colors of the titles you can just give any color okay so maybe i can give one kind of orange and then i can give some teal color or turquoise color different colors you can give and once this is done you can add some basic animation so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one first and wipe so it comes like this you can see here and then this should appear okay or you can just make it a a fly in or maybe let me just put a fly in and that should happen with previous so if i play it comes like this so now i'm going to copy the animation painter on the second part now this one will come like this okay then the third one you can see here it's very simple you have to do just one by one copy the animation to each of this one so you can see here and then this is the last one now if i play it comes like this we can see here and for this also you can add animation uh, wipe and that should happen after previous so let me just put it again all right so and then you can add some same animation effect for the text options as well